Hello, beautiful people. It is Ashley here with Fire Intuition. I am here to do the daily reading for today. Today is Monday. It is June the 10th. Yes, today is Monday, June the 10th. I am here to do your daily reading. Um, this will be a general reading. It is for all signs. Do only take the message if it resonates with you guys. You guys already know how much I love and appreciate all of you guys. You guys are freaking amazing. I love you guys. I love you. I love you. I love you. Sending lots of love your way. Please don't talk about the stain on my shirt. I'm sure you guys can see it. I kissed baby Connor earlier. We had went and had lunch. And then, like, like my lipstick was, like, all on him, on his cheek. And then he put his, he was tired, so he laid on me. And I was like, you know what? I was like, I'm not changing my shirt. So, just so you guys know, I do have a little stain there. All right? So, let's hop into this reading. Let it be great. Let's see what messages are coming in for today, Monday, June the 10th. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. If you guys would love to book with me, fireintuition.com. All righty. Um, yeah. I was about to say something, but I totally forgot. I forgot, guys. I'm sorry. Um, for some of you guys, if you're watching this and you guys got a notification that I was going to have your reading done yesterday, um, please do ignore that it's coming today. So I'm uploading right now, and then I'm going to do a few after this reading. I don't know what I was thinking. You guys know I don't record on the weekend, so I had like sent you guys notifications for a Sunday, which I don't even know why I did that. Maybe I wasn't looking at the calendar correctly, um, but you guys will get those readings tonight. All right. It's only like four or five of you guys, but um, just so you guys know. Alrighty. Also, um, because I want to, like, I don't want to send out so many emails for those of you that are in the e-club and I'm just changing a lot with the channel and like my website and stuff. So I had did like this little cute poster last night and it's like the June specials. So every day it's going to be a different special, but it's going to be like that for the rest of the month. So like, for example, um, June, so like every Monday questions are going to be like 11, 11, um, versus like $20 and then um, on Tuesdays three questions with like 333 versus like $50 and then I think Wednesday I put like um, how does he or she feel which is like 50 versus like 70 or something like that I forget I don't remember exactly what order I put it in but just giving you guys examples so there will be a, pro, a promo code to each one and that's how I'm going to do the specials for the month so like every month I'm just going to do a special and it's going to be like every day it's going to be something different for the month of June I'm doing it like Monday through Friday but then like when July comes I probably will do like every Wednesday and Friday like this is on sale or something like that just to slow down the emails then I get busy I can't send them out you know, and you guys are like, oh, are you doing this promotion? Are you doing that? You know, yada, yada, yada. Um, so just so you guys know about that, I'm also going to pin it in the comments so that you guys can see it. So if you guys do want to book with me, you guys can go ahead and do that. Um, and then that way the special is there for the whole month. So I might just take away the monthly special because every month I do a special. And I think I'm just going to take that away and just keep that open. Also, I know every summer, well, last summer, Case of the X was like my most popular reading. And then I had the Case of the X Extended. So I'm thinking about bringing the Case of the X Extended back. Even though you guys drove me super crazy with the X's. But it's cool because I love you guys. Um, but like I don't know. Last year around the summer. It was just like everyone wanted to know what their ex was doing. If they moved on. Why did we break up? They're messing around. So like I'm going to probably lower the price and just do. Because like last year I think it was $30 all summer long. I might do that this year again. Because um, it was like my most popular reading. And it still kind of is my most popular reading. Alright. So enough of my chit chat. Just trying to update you all. So let's hop into this reading. Let's pull a few um, romance angels. And let's see what messages we have for today, guys. Let it be great. All right. Messages for Monday, June the 10th. Messages for Monday, June the 10th. So this card keeps coming out in all my readings, even personal. Love yourself first. The first card we have out is attraction. Okay, so it says, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So a lot of you guys just need to get out, you know, just like get out of your comfort zone. Get out the house, look cute, feel cute, get your hair done, your nails done, or just put on a really nice outfit, relax, chill, just feel attractive, feel the attraction around you, okay? So step out of nature, enjoy yourself, have a great time, you know, stop, smell the roses, do something great. Like every Saturday, I buy myself flowers. So, you know, buy yourself some flowers or, you know, just get out, go to the Whole Foods or something. 
ahead and go buy a new plant or some new flowers for your room, your office, your home, whatever. We have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So the more that you guys invest in yourself, the more time and energy and effort you put into yourself, the more romantically attractive you become, right? Because if you're just sitting at the house and you're not doing shit and you're just sitting there lonely and dry and miserable, like who's going to be attracted to that? But at the same time, when you do stuff for yourself, that's also self-love, loving yourself first, putting yourself first, right? So next we have flirt. Extend your lighthearted energies to others. So see, as you guys do this, look, flirting energy is coming in. Either you're flirting with someone or someone's flirting with you. So I'm loving that. So you guys have like some flirtatious energy coming in. You're flirting. They're flirting. So someone's flirting with someone. All right. Let's see what else we got. Let's pull a couple more. We have children. Your love life is being affected by children. So maybe you guys are wanting to get back with someone that was kind of childish and immature. And maybe you're just like, you know what, I'm just tired of them acting like this. Hopefully they changed. I don't know why I'm getting that. For others of you, um, maybe you do have children because we see new love at the bottom. And I'm looking at this and I feel like for some of you guys, you might want to get out, um, you know, and do stuff for yourself and flirt. But maybe you have children and you feel like children are affecting your love life. Okay. Maybe that person that you're with, they have children and it's like there's, you can only see this person a certain time, but you know that this can be the one Okay, you've already met the romantic partner that you seek or when you meet this new person, you're going to know that they are the one. We have playful energy. So it looks like someone's going to be like having sex or playing around for playing playful energy to recapture romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So for some of you guys, I feel like you guys haven't been romantic or haven't really expressed your love or feelings or been romantic with someone in a while or with that person in a while. And that's going to change. All right. Um, so let's see. Damn sure isn't resonating with me because you guys know the boys are gone for the summer and I'm still in this office, still at home. Me and baby Connor being going everywhere every day. And it says your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So someone is coming in to make you feel great. Like your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Something's changing, okay, in your love life. We're going to pull one more. Something is changing um, for you guys. So I'm definitely loving the energy. This one is trying to flip over. We have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So someone you guys are dealing with, they could have been married. And there was control issues. Maybe you guys were, you know, like, oh, when are you going to leave this person? When are you going to be with me? Maybe you're trying to control the relationship. For some of you guys, when I see um, let go of control issues, this is someone like overthinking and not even really knowing the true situation. Like when I say that, I mean like not really knowing what's going on. It's like you're thinking the worst. Whatever you're telling yourself, you're believing it. But we have retreat. So I feel like someone's like stepping away from a marriage or a long-term relationship or commitment. Um, or this can be someone stepping away from you, you stepping away from them. It looks like someone really needs to clear their head and get their mind right. Now, if this is that person, it's like you want to be in control over the situation. Like you don't understand why they walked away, why they left, why they're acting the way they're acting towards you. But it's because you can't always be in control of, over the situation with let go of control issues. And look, look what's under that, separation. And that's why there's been a separation between you guys. Okay, so someone really needs to get their mind right. Someone needs to clear their mind. Someone needs to stop being in control and actually allow the situation to unfold naturally. Okay, and you need to know that it is safe for you to open up your heart to receive the highest energy of love. Okay, so just knowing that even through difficult times, good or bad or whatever, that you still need to do things with an open heart and know that it is safe for you to love and that in relationships you do go through things. You do go through challenges. You know, the relationships are always not going to be peachy and oh i love you let's make love all day and i miss you all the time type shit okay so that's our um angel messages our romance angel messages so let's hop into this reading let it be great guys you guys know i don't even really use that many romance angels um but i felt like that was the message that that needed to come out um so let's see let's see what's coming out we have the will of fortune we have the king of cups all right so this can be a sagittarius this can also be a pisces scorpio Okay, that's significant in your guys' life. But with the Wheel of Fortune, King of Cups, it can be any sign. New love is coming in. Love is right there. The Wheel of Fortune is something that's destined and meant to come in, destined and meant to happen. It's it's love. It's true love, unconditional love. Ours is letting me know like you really love this person, but it might be a karmic, a soulmate situation with the Wheel of Fortune there. Remember, the Wheel of Fortune is about karma, right? Um, we have the Six of Cups. Yep, past life soulmate connection. Can't make this shit up. And we have the Hermit. Okay, Virgo energy. This is the person that you're thinking about. This is who you're separated from. This is who you're taking a break from. 
Do they want to take a break from you? I don't feel like it. Do you want to take a break? No. But I feel like you guys really need to take some time and really think things through, especially with the Romance Angels. Because just looking at this right here, just looking at the Romance Angels, someone feels kind of stuck and trapped. Like, it's like one of you guys is like living your life and doing your thing and the other person feels stuck and trapped like they're waiting for the other person. So this can be you feeling like, oh, I'm always waiting for you, like, you know, and... You always want to flirt and send me text messages. You always want to have sex or play around. But, you know, I have children. And I know you can be the one. But, you know, where is this relationship going? Are you separated from that person? It just sounds like a lot of complaining. And not saying that you guys are complaining. But it's just like, it sounds like complaining. Because someone's just not happy. And whoever this King of Cups is, it's just like, either they make you really happy. Or they make you really mad is what I'm feeling. Because we go from the Wheel of Fortune to the Hermit. Okay, so it's like you, I feel like you guys have better than worse days, but right now you just don't know where you stand with this person. Queen of Cups could be a Cancer, okay, and this is the soulmate energy between you guys. See, King and Queen of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, Six of Cups, the Hermit. We have the Page of Wands, that's that flirtatious energy that we see, okay, so this is them opening up, being flirtatious. We have the Strength card, okay, this is the attraction between you guys, really attracted to this person, but then we have the Eight of Pentacles, it's resonating with the Romance Angels. With the hermit, that's you loving yourself, investing in yourself, putting energy and effort into yourself, actually going within, figuring out what it is you want from this relationship, actually what you want from yourself, because it's like some of you guys feel confused. The empress is coming up. The empress is very loving, nurturing, very abundant. She's very happy. But something is telling me that even though you are in this empress energy, you're not happy. I feel like life is great, but you're like, when it comes to your love life, something's going on or there's just a situation here with this person. The empress can be a third party. Yes, yeah, so we have the moon here. Someone could be pregnant with this um, moon in the ace of wands and they don't know about it yet. And they're about to find out. Maybe you guys have sex and there's a hidden pregnancy for some of you guys. Okay, with this energy coming out like this. Um, with the ace of wands, the moon and the um, empress. Or you're about to find out about this other person. Or if they're married or committed, they're about to find out about you. So if you're dating someone and they're like committed or married, this person's about to find out about you. Okay, we do have the nine of swords here with the seven of cups and judgment. Yes, he's someone stressing out a little bit. You know, they found out that someone kept their options open. Okay, or this is you distressed out because the person you want to be with just has a lot going on. And with judgment, it's like you're ready to call judgment. You're just like, do you really have time for me? Are you going to give me the time that I need? The empress could be Taurus or it can be um, Libra. Okay, but sub someone's been over loving in this situation. I mean, like someone's given away too much love, affection, um, attention. And with the five of cups, I feel like it's you guys. You guys are feeling like you're being rejected or left out or lonely. Or you guys are just like, oh, this reminds me of my past. This person is triggering me from my past. This person is doing what my past person used to do. And I feel like with the will of fortune, that's... It's, I, I'm not going to say it's meant to happen like this, but I feel like with the will of fortune, there's something here. There's a setback here that's stopping this true love from coming in or continuing in your life. And I feel like there's something that you guys need to realize and see in this person that has also triggered you in another situation that has triggered your love life in general. And it's time for you guys to let that go and heal it and see what did I say? Justice is here. I can't make this shit up. And then we have the um, then we have the six of pentacles. The justice scales are balanced. So if there's something that this soulmate or this person is coming into your life to teach you. For a lot of you guys, there's going to be a relationship out of it. You guys are going to move forward. Okay. Um, and I feel like with this nine of wands being here, whatever they're putting you through or whatever you are being triggered by, like whatever they're whatever is triggering you, it's like it's like you've been through worse with the nine of wands. With the ace of swords, that's what you really need to think about. Okay, the Ace of Swords is you gaining mental clarity, but it's also you being honest and blunt with yourself. Like, okay, they're really not as bad as, as I'm making them seem, or they're really not as bad as so-and-so, or maybe I'm just overthinking this shit and I'm making myself go through this Nine of Wands energy when I really don't have to. But then we have the devil, so be careful. The devil can also mean karma. Okay, so watch how your karma is being played out in this situation. Watch the karma that you're attracting in this situation. For some of you guys, it's like you're going to have sex with this person and there goes that contract right there. Boom, your souls are going to recognize each other and you're going to not be able to get enough of this person. You're going to be hell with fucking heels, okay? Fucking on the stairs, on the table, outside, going crazy, going bananas, looking at the energy between you guys. You know what I'm saying? And then we have this nine of pentacles. And the nine of pentacles, three of cups, ace of cups, like you've been waiting for a love like this to come into your life. So, you, so, like, look, we have the Nine of Pentacles, the um, Three of Cups, and the Ace of Cups. You've been waiting for love to come like this into your life. But the problem is, is this third person, this other person. And then, look, we have the Two of Cups. Someone's walking away from a soulmate connection with the Eight of Cups, Ten of Wands. They can't take it anymore. It could be the marriage here. 
and what the world card it is. It's the marriage. So if you guys are waiting for someone to walk away from a marriage or you're walking away from a marriage, it's about to happen. Someone's, someone's being ignorant, though. Someone is refusing to sign um, divorce papers. Someone's refusing to let go. Someone didn't want somebody, and now that that person has moved on and found someone else, now the person all of a sudden wants that person. So if you're dealing with someone and they, they're married or committed, or, I mean, that can be you guys, you know, take a high resonates. You know, I'm, I'm not trying to, like, you know, tell you guys about yourself, but, I mean, I see it in personal readings sometimes because I'll do the reading and then I'll do a personal, like, well, damn, I didn't, why didn't you tell me that? And they're like, oh, I'm fired, you know, like, I wasn't trying to, but I'm just being honest. Sometimes we do shit and we don't mean to do it. Sometimes we project that energy out, right? So it can be their person or it can be you. But someone um, didn't want someone. You know, they were pushing them away. And then as soon as they got with someone else, now this person is being difficult. Now they don't want to sign the papers. Now they're putting that person through hell to walk away with the Eight of Cups and the Ten of Wands because they want to keep the marriage. They want to keep the relationship. Now it's all about the family. Oh, but we have a family together type shit. You know what I'm saying? So someone's giving someone a hard time in a relationship is what I'm seeing after them trying and trying and trying to be with that person and that person no longer wanting to be with them okay so let's just clarify a couple cards um and see what's going on all right um because that's what i'm getting but whoever this is this definitely is um a soulmate connection for sure you guys have a soul contract with this person and you guys are not going to be able to get enough of each other like it's deep uh whatever this connection is is very deep right um i feel like for some of you guys you met this person um when you least expected it Okay, yep, see, this is that King of Cups in reverse, that person that is married. Could be a Scorpio or could be, um, there's a lot of fish down here. So it could be Pisces for sure or Scorpio, okay, that you guys are dealing with. That card fell out, so I'm just going to put that to the side, all right? So let's go into this Wheel of Fortune. And this person, like, whoever that is, like, they're mad, they're upset. That's why the King of Cups is in reverse with the, with the Four of Wands, because they're like, oh, my God, the nerve of you, you cheated, you lied, which... If, you're, if someone is married, of course, it's a third-party situation. But this person was rejecting this person. This person didn't want this person no more. Now that this person has moved on, now this person feels some type of way. Yep, see, we have the two of wands in reverse, five of pentacles in reverse. They don't want this person to go anywhere. They don't want this person to move forward and make a decision or make a decision to move forward. They're trying to stop this person from moving forward. Now with the five of cups, they're all sad and in their feelings, you know, so... It's just a mess going on with that situation. But let's go into this Wheel of Fortune. Why is this Wheel of Fortune here? Let's go into the Wheel of Fortune. Yep, see the Knight of Pentacles. And you guys are going to be long-term. Whoever this is, this is going to be long-term. I don't feel like they're going to leave you. I feel like this person is planning on being in your life forever. But it's just there's a challenge of you guys. There's a challenge um, for you guys to be together. And the challenge is the fact that they're going through this. So like I said, I feel like some of you guys have probably manifested this type of person in your life but probably didn't say to the universe, like, oh, let this person be single, free, and available. Remember, what we manifest, sometimes we get the energy we, we project, it comes back to us. So maybe on your list for your person, you had everything you wanted on there, but you didn't mention to say that this person is single. See, look, a lot of you guys have been uh, manifesting. See, every time I look at a card, it's everything I just said. I cannot make this shit up today, guys. I'm serious. Okay? So let's go into this King of Cups. Let's see what he's about. Let's see what this King of Cups is about. Because this is definitely a soulmate connection, and this person is flirting with you with the Page of Wands. They're discovering something new. You're, you're totally different from them. Sex-wise, look-wise, whatever. It's like, because this empress, whoever they're with, is either someone that's natural. And no offense to the natural girls. Love you guys, because my hair under these bundles is natural. Okay? But I just hate keeping up with my real hair. So, like, with this empress, she can be natural or... Like, she's just, like, a homebody type person. She never goes out. She doesn't go anywhere. And not saying that you're, like, the type that goes out and parties, but maybe, like, you're into, like, the nails and, like, the hair and you like to wear, like, sexy clothing. Like, not out, but, like, say, like, you have a style about you or, like, you go to the office every day so you're used to wearing business suits or there's something about you that's different from the person that they were with and that's what they like about you because, like, with you, it's something totally new. It's something totally different. I feel like for some of you guys, I don't know where I'm getting this from, but it's like you can cook your ass off. So, like, they, like, fell in love with you, like, through your food and stuff. Like, they're like, damn, she can cook. She's fine. She got a body and she works corporate. Like, it's something like that. I don't even know where I'm getting that from, but it's some type of energy like that I'm feeling for today. You know what I'm saying? Are they like, damn, she got her own place and she got she run her own business or she do this. Our males, you know, 
vice versa, take how it resonates, but there's something that they're discovering new and different with you, and they're just like, damn, I can't believe this is happening. I can't believe this is like the person, because I feel like they just honestly fell in love with the person they were with. Yep, see, the Eight of Swords is a reverse, so this person is not stressing out about this situation anymore, okay? They're gaining back their mental strength. I feel like this king of cups could have been begging this other person like no let's stay together let's work things out we do have a family and then they got pushed away and then they met you and now they're really sure they're certain that they don't want to be with that other person so you know and they want to work on things with you they don't want to work on things with that person but you guys are separating because there's an issue going on between that situation yep see the page of swords reverse they're trying to block out the negativity from this person and from you whoever this king of cups is you know, so they're hearing it on both ends from you and from the um, the ex or the wife or the husband. You know, so let's see why this page of wands is here because this is the communication that's coming in. Yep, see the ace of wands reverse. So it's like they're not putting energy and effort into communicating to them anymore. But then it's like you're cutting off communication with them. You're distant with them. And that's what they're in their feelings about. They're like, why? Yep, see the hey man. Pisces energy. You guys asked to break, to have a break or separate. Maybe you told this person you need to get your head together. We have the star here. For some of you guys, this could be a twin flame connection. But if not, it's like there's still some healing that needs to be done from your past or their past. Or both you guys really need to just heal. And you just need some time apart because you're just like, nope, I don't want you to come in and hurt me. You know, yep, see, we have a fool, but you want to take this risk. You want to take the seat of faith with this person. You really want to be with them, but you're scared. Both you guys are scared. Both you guys are scared to be in love with each other. And then we have this Queen of Cups here. And this will be your energy. So going to the Queen of Cups. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Yep, see the Three of Swords. See, you don't want to be heartbroken, Three of Swords. And you thought that you've already forgiven your past. Like, remember when I said that it's something about, um, it's something about them that's going to trigger you from your past. The thing is, for some of you guys, it's like you're over your past, but you're not fully over your past there's just a little bit of energy left there and you might have thought that you're over them but you're not are there something that this person is going to do like i said that's going to trigger you and it's going to make you think about your past but i feel like that's great because whatever it is it's like now you know and with that ace of swords coming up that we've seen um with that nine of wands this is like someone that's wounded, like a wounded warrior. And it's like with the Ace of Swords, you're like, why am I still, like the Ace of Swords is telling me like, why are you still walking around wounded and hurt? Why are you still walking around feeling miserable, feeling in pain? Like, why are you going through that? You know, like, why are you letting this person trigger past feelings? But then it's like the Ace of Swords is you finally having that mental breakthrough and you're going to, you're going to end that. So it's like, whatever that was, I was holding you back. You're not going to deal with that energy anymore because you're going to heal that energy. And you're going to move forward. That's why the Three of Swords is in reverse. So you're not going to get, your heart's not going to be broken with this person. For some of you guys, you feel like you're heartbroken because they are in a situation and there's a challenge. But part of it is because you're still holding on to a little bit of the past. Okay? And maybe something that they did. For some of you guys, they could have had a baby with someone else, had a baby on you. Maybe they have young children with that other person. So you might feel like, damn, like they're going to just leave me because they already have children. Or they're going to do this, they're going to do that. But it's all in your subconscious mind. So go into this Three of Swords. Yes, yeah, see, look, you need inner strength and confidence. Self-love is going to overcome this. And why do we have love yourself first? The strength card is all about self-love, self-respect. This person respects you. They care about you. They love you. Okay, but in the strength cards, you can overcome this. This is just a small challenge and obstacle that you're going to get through. But it's to test to see how much you really do love and care for yourself. And that's what I honestly feel the universe is doing. They want to see your strength. They want to see how strong you are. They want to see if you're really ready for this long-lasting love. You know, like, because this is going to be the love of a lifetime. Connor, stop stomping your feet, please. Yeah, he has an attitude because I'm recording. <laughs> so let's see. He'll be fine, y'all. Let's see. Uh-oh. No. Yes, way. So we have the death card, the world card, and judgment. All right. So, yeah, see, this, the death card, the world, and judgment. Unfold your arms. Give me one sec, guys. Sorry, y'all. Baby Connor be having his little terrible two tantrums. He'll be three in July. Um. So, yeah. So we have the death card on top of this strength card. And the death card is about endings. All right. Could be with a Scorpio. Okay, but the um, death card is all about transformation. It's the death of the ego. Okay, it's something that needs to end so that something new can begin. The world card is telling me that it's time for you to go into a new cycle, but go into the cycle strong, different, looking at things different, viewing things different. We have judgment. This is karma. It's time for you to make a final decision. Are you going to let this past situation hold you back from this true love being in your life? Are you going to let the past hold you back from this any type of love in your life? 
in general coming in, why are you allowing this past situation to affect you so bad moving forward is what it's telling me. And then when I picked up the cards, these were, these were on top. We have the Queen of Swords, the Nine of Cups in reverse, and we have the Queen of Pentacles. And this is you feeling like, you know what, I just, maybe I need to cut this person out. But you have your sword up and it's like you're ready to cut this person out. You're ready to go off. You're ready to say something nasty. You're ready to be mean. But it's only because in the past, the people that you dealt with, Nine of Cups in reverse, were so selfish and self-centered and they were all about themselves. And there was no wish fulfillment in it. And with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, you're just like, mm, you know, like, I feel better when they get rid of that person. But for some of you guys, that person has literally been with you like every single day. And you still are focused on that energy with this person and needing to take your energy off the other person for some of you guys. For others of you, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse with this energy is telling me that in the past, you've given so much. You loved and nurtured so many relationships. Or every time you're in a relationship, you're just loving, generous, nurturing. And you become this Queen of Pentacles in reverse, mean and selfish and all about yourself and stubborn. And now you're self-centered and now you're all about yourself. And with the Queen of Swords, you're also like aggressive and wanting to cut people out and be cutthroat and going off and all that type of stuff because you've been holding on to all this past hurt. Wounded, you're hurt. I get it. But it's like all that energy needs to be released and let go of in order for you to move forward. Okay, so I feel like you guys are being a little tested right now by the universe to see how strong you are with this strength card. Okay, let's go into this um, Queen of Swords. Yep, see that we have the Four of Pentacles. We have the Hangman. You're still holding on to something. And it's something that you need to let go of and surrender. You're still holding on to something. You're, it's like every relationship you're in, the same thing is repeating. But there's something that needs to change with you. Not saying that this other person is perfect. I'm just saying that this situation here, there's actually true love here. But you guys are just scared to love each other. It's weird. All right, let's go into this four of pentacles. What is repeating in your relationships? What are you holding on to? What are you scared to let go of? The Seven of Swords, the shadiness. You've been shaded in the past. You've been hurt. Four of Cups. You've been let down. You've been you've been rejected. You know, you've been feeling left out. You suppressed some past emotions. And I'm not trying to say it like this, but who hasn't? Okay, and that's what you're holding on to. You're holding on to something that we have all been through as a collective. And it's really up to you to walk away from this emotional baggage. And we have a full moon in Sagittarius on June 17th. And this will be the perfect time for you guys to release that energy and let it go. Okay? Just release the energy and let it go because you might miss out on something good. And look what's here. The King of Pentacles in the upright with the Knight of Wands reverse. So this person went from unstable to back and forth to finally ready to commit and to offer you something. So it's just like things are about to change now. You know what I'm saying? Like everything is about to change. And that's what I'm loving. But you have to be able to see that. You have to be willing to see that. So let's pull some... Um, numerology cards let's see what's stopping you guys from allowing love to come in and then we'll pull some angel cards in a spirit message so as a collective what is stopping this true love or what is stopping love from coming in what is stopping love from coming in leadership healing what did we just talk about <laughs> you guys aren't healing leadership is showing your strength the strength card healing and then we have effort making the effort that's what's holding you back from this love or true love from coming in so leadership is here let's clarify that with the leadership card uh oh look <laughs> these two came out so i'm gonna take it leadership the high priestess and the lover's card trusting and following your intuition but the high priestess is all about wisdom knowledge like you know where you you know where you're at. You know how far you become. So why even take yourself backwards? Why even put yourself in that negative space or energy? The lover's card is you feeling whole, complete. Your divine union being here. Now it's time for you to move forward and prove to the universe that you want this. Show leadership. Show the universe that you're not stuck in that past energy. Eight plus one is nine. That's a completion. You, you've ended that cycle. We have healing number 66. All right? Some of you guys are still healing or really need to heal at this time. And with that, we have to pay the pinnacles and we have the three of rods. So it's telling me that why even accept an offer if you're not ready, okay? The Page of Pentacles is an offer coming in, but the Three of Wands is the offer being blocked. And there is no growth and expansion, and you guys aren't moving forward. Why? Because there is no healing being done, or you guys still need some healing to do. So you can't just be like, okay, well, I'm just ready to move forward. Yep, my ships are coming in. This new person is here. Yep, let me hop on the boat. It doesn't work like that, and that can be you or that other person. So take it how it resonates, all right? And then we have effort number 13. 
Okay, and with that, look what we have. We have the Ten of Pentacles and we have the Emperor. Give this person a chance to prove to you. Let them show you. If it works out, it works out. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But let them put the effort in. Let them prove to you that they want to put this effort in. For some of you guys, they actually really do want to be with you and offer you the Ten of Pentacles and the, and the Emperor. They want to build an empire with you. They want to be with you long term. But you got to let them put the effort in. You can't just buck. Oh, well, yep, you lied. Bye. You know what I'm saying? For some of you guys, I don't know where I'm getting that message from. But if, if you know this is the one, you know this is the person, you got to let them put the effort in. And that's what's stopping and blocking you guys from having this true love. All right, so let me know that with the Ten of Pentacles and the Emperor that you were in a long-term relationship or a commitment, you know, with an Emperor type person and they let you down, they hurt you, they did that. Yes, true, but everyone is not the same. All men are not the same, all women are not the same. All right, let this person make some effort. All right, so let's see what our angels have to say. Angels, what do you have to say about this reading? Give us some messages. We have trust. So trust in the process. Trust what is about to happen. We have two more messages. Uh -oh. What flipped over? Look, see? This situation will improve. So you need to trust. You need to have trust. This situation will improve. And then look what we have. It says, don't stop. Meaning like, don't stop. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we have opportunity. There is an opportunity here. There is an opportunity for you guys to be together. Don't stop. This situation will improve and have trust. So I want to go into um, the don't stop card. Let's see what that has to say. Look, see the Ten of Swords. So it's telling me that with the Ten of Swords and the don't stop card, it's saying don't stop. You guys are almost out of a cycle. The Ten of Swords is the ending of a brutal cycle, a cycle that really hurt you. This is fear. Release fear. Okay, that's how the Ace of Swords is there with that Nine of Wands. So don't stop. Keep moving forward. Allow yourself to come out of this cycle. Allow yourself to end this cycle so that you can have a fresh start, so that you can have a new beginning. And look what we have, the Tower. But let all, the, let all this shit out. Release all those bottled up emotions and feelings. Let the Tower fall down so that a new foundation can be built up between you and this person or so that you can allow a new solid foundation to come into your life with the Tower. And with that, look what we have. We have the Eight of Swords. Okay, so needing to release yourself. No, you're not stuck, okay? This is you feeling as if you're stuck for some of you guys with the Eight of Swords. But the Eight of Swords is also the vulnerability. The vulnerability. You know, it's you feeling lonely, you feeling hurt. Maybe in the past you were blindfolded for so long or maybe you went through so much in your past relationships. But it's telling you, like, don't start release this energy so that it can be gone so that you can move forward. Let's clarify this energy. Let's see what we have, y'all. See, look, I can't make this shit up. Recovery. Some of you guys just need to recover from the past. And you guys will. See, look, in the next few weeks, things are going to change. And you're going to feel totally different. So I'm loving this. Okay? You guys need to forgive someone at this time, possibly. Or this can be you needing to just forgive yourself. Okay? For the past situations that you've been through or the past situations that you allowed yourself to be in. Take a high resonance. All right? So, um... Since my angel and ancestor oracles are right here, and you guys know this is like one of my favorite decks, my favorite oracles, let's do this. I have a new um, oracle deck that I have. I've had it for a couple months, and um, I really love the messages, but I feel like I'm going to do a spirit message for you guys. Like, I don't know per sign or as a collective, but I really love the messages on there, but I just haven't took it out to play with yet, like, well, for the channel. Um, but I love that deck. I'll probably take it out this week. All right, so let's see what we got. You guys see my rose? We have sear. So my friend bought me a rose, right? And it's an, it's like a it's a real rose, but it's like in water and it's like super huge. It blew up. I don't know, like it's a real rose. Oh, look, guys, isn't this like amazing? Look, it's a blue rose. Freaking awesome! It's in my desk. I mean, I said it's in my desk. It's in my office. I put it in there. It's amazing. I'm like, you see the stems and everything. It's like real at the bottom. I'm scared. I was like, what if I'm in here and that mug just bust everywhere? All right, so let's see what we got. We have Seer. See beyond the current situation. I feel like we had Seer last time I did this. I feel like we did. So maybe we're kind of in the same energy. Because I really feel like I read this, unless I've been reading this a lot in personals. But because everyone always orders this card, I mean this oracle. Let's see. We have Seer. So it says, look beyond your current situation. Raise your vibration and focus on love. 
clairvoyance isn't just about predicting the future. It's about being able to see clearly enough to create your best future. You are being encouraged by your ancestors, guides, and angels to see beyond what you think is happening, but it's not. Don't allow your ego or doubts to play games with you. Instead of seeing yourself as stuck or lost, remember I said you're not stuck. Instead of seeing yourself as stuck or lost, know you are in an energetic holding space while the universe recalibrates a path that is more favorable for you. Angels of light are upgrading your energy so your experience can be more enjoyable. You are moving towards something extremely uplifting and enlightening. So stay calm and keep your eyes on the prize. Love it. A true seer will help you see that your intentions can change. Therefore, so can your future. The message of this card is to let clairvoyant within you rise up. No, yeah, rise up so that you can see the way forward yourself with your own spiritual eyes and gifts. All right? So I freaking love it. I love it. That's what I'm saying. Some of you guys are just overthinking. You're thinking the verse. You're thinking whatever you're thinking is probably not even true. Probably not even 80% of it. And I feel like you guys are just overthinking the situation. And it's time for you guys to come out of that energy and stop overthinking the situation. All right? And just allow shit to happen. And, um, let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. All right, guys? I love you. I love you guys. Mwah. You guys are amazing. I hope you guys have a beautiful Monday. I know I'm uploading this kind of late. Me and baby Connor have been running errands and doing readings and everywhere today. So I'm just not getting back to the house. But better late than never, right? So have a beautiful Monday, and I will holler at you guys tomorrow. Bye, loves.